Manage switch, armed with intelligence, customization, and the finesse to manage your network like a digital maestro. Unmanaged switch, a true plug-and-play marvel, ready to bridge connections without breaking a sweat. Ladies and gentlemen, tech enthusiasts and network explorers, welcome to an electrifying showdown of switches. Today, we are diving into the world of outdoor networking and the ultimate dilemma, managed or unmanaged outdoor switch. And that's what we're about to find out. In a world where the outdoor beacon and business expands beyond the four walls, the importance of network switches in outdoor environment become paramount. And think about it, whether it's bustling outdoor events, a sprawling campus, or even the expanse of a smart city, outdoor networking is the backbone that upholds our interconnected society. And it is the network switch that transforms these open spaces into hubs of communication, enabling us to access information, share experiences, and drive progress like never before. So throughout our video today, we will unravel the choices that define the realm of outdoor network switches. So first, we are going to talk about the unmanaged switches. They are fundamental networking devices designed for simplicity and ease of use. Unlike managed switches, unmanaged switches operate without the need for configuration and offer a straightforward way to connect devices within a network. They have several advantages, including first, ease of setup. You just plug them in and they start forwarding data immediately. Second, affordability. They are typically more budget friendly, making them suitable choice for a cost conscious setup. And third, reliability. Due to the straightforward design, unmanaged switches are known for their reliability and stability in basic networking tasks. Unmanaged switches find value in various outdoor scenarios, including temporary setups in outdoor events or proper markets to provide instant connectivity for vendors and attendees without the need for intricate configuration. And also small outdoor offices, cafes, and parks where unmanaged switches can establish basic outdoor network without complex management needed. So in a summary, unmanaged switches offer simplicity and affordability, excel in scenario demanding hassle-free connectivity in outdoor setting. So now let's move on to the managed switches. There are network devices that offer advanced control and configuration options. Unlike unmanaged switches, which operates with plug-and-play approach, managed switches provide administrators with the ability to monitor, configure, and optimize network traffic. And it comes with several advantages. First, VLAN support. It enables network segmentation, allowing for efficient isolation of network traffic groups. Second, QoS quality of service allow for prioritization of specific type of traffic, ensuring critical data application receive higher network bandwidth. Third, remote management and monitoring enable administrator to make adjustment without physically being at the switch's location. And last but not least, enhance security features to safeguard against unauthorized access and potential threats. Managed switches excel in outdoor setting, offering their capabilities in scenarios like outdoor events, for example, a large gathering. Managed switches provide the ability to create separate network for vendors, attendees, and staff, while ensuring proper bandwidth for live streaming and communication. Another example is the campus Wi-Fi, allows universities and schools to offer secure and reliable reliable outdoor Wi-Fi connectivity and ensures seamless access for students and faculties across the campus ground. So in conclusion, managed switches offer comprehensive control, prioritization, security, and remote monitoring, and making them a valuable asset in optimizing network performance. 
So in the arena of networking, manage and unmanage switches engage in a head-to-head -head battle across key aspects. For those mindful of budgets, cost consideration favor unmanaged switches which are more affordable and suitable for simple setups. And in terms of performance and latency, managed switches offering advanced features like QoS for optimized data flow, and network visibility and control till toward managed switches as well, with VLAN for effective segmentation and ability to remotely manage and monitor. So actually, the choice ultimately rests on your needs. You can offer unmanaged switches for straightforward connectivity without breaking the bank, or managed switches for comprehensive control and security. So now we are in front of the demonstration board. Behind me is our connection for today. But before we do the setup, please bear with me for a moment because I'm going to introduce you to some of our PoE switches. Now first we have here the 4-port L2 Plus Managed Outdoor PoE switch with SFP. It gives an efficient and safer way to meet outdoor network expanding application with great stability and flexibility. It has four PoE ports and two SFP ports. It also supports ERPS ring protocol, allowing switches to be daisy chained up and get backup connection. It adopts dual DC power input for redundancy and achieves stability for system operation. Not only managed switches, we also have unmanaged switch. Now this one I'm holding here is our outdoor PoE switch with SFP. You can place this device at outdoor environment without concern of water damage and provide network and power for multiple network devices with plug and play installation. It has four PoE ports, one RJ45 Ethernet port and one gigabit SFP port to supply up to 10 kilometers fiber optical network with power handshaking to verify the edge device and also overload protection and carrier grade search protection. So without saying, now let's do the connection together. So over here we have the router to provide the main network data. First I'm going to use a short patch cord to connect it with our network video recorder. Since we're connecting to a BDZ camera at the edge. And then using another short patch cord to connect the router to our 24 port manage PoE switch. Plug it in here. And then we are using fiber optic cable to do the connection. So we have this full strength fiber optic cable and they're pre-mated so we don't need to worry about the connector. This is LC connector and on each string it has letters. So let's use letter A for now. This is the SFP transceiver and it's usually sold separately. Today we're using the BD SFP module. This is where we connect it with the fiber optic cable. And it has to determine what kind of fiber optic cable and the distance that you use. Let's plug it into the SFP slot. This is a 300 meters fiber optic cable come over to the edge, we are going to do exactly the same thing. Use the SFP transceiver. This is the string A. Plug it in and put it into the SFP slot. Just like this. Since we're connecting to two edge devices, so I'm going to go ahead and plug in two Ethernet cable. We're utilizing the PoE technology allows both power and data to be transmitted over a single Ethernet cable and eliminating the needs for separate power source. So we don't need any power supply for the PDZ or the wireless access point. Only the PoE switch here. And I'm going to wave my hand to show you this is a live video. So the whole connection is done. Now I'm going to show you how to connect our managed PoE switch to our computer to view the web interface. 
So now we have the computer, let's connect it to our Manage Outdoor PoE switch. Plug it in here. This is the web interface and we need to log in. Make sure you set a strong password for security. And now it's logging in. This is the web interface where we can do all the configuration. We have the basic configuration, the MAC address, VLAN. Here we have DHCP, SNTP, QoS, and also spinning tree and etc. And this is how you can do the, all the configuration on your computers. When navigating the realm of outdoor networking, crucial factors stand out when picking between managed and unmanaged switches. Whether resistance, durability, along with temperature tolerance are key to ensure switches can endure the elements. Our outdoor PoE switch here are all IP67 waterproof rated, and they can withstand extreme temperature in outdoor environment. Also, power over Ethernet support at convenience for outdoor setup, powering devices like security cameras and wireless access point. Scalability is vital for accommodating future expansion seamlessly. And for a successful decision, keep these tips in mind. As a specific outdoor network needs to match switch feature to demands and long-term spanning and scalability can ensure your network can adapt and grow. And lastly, consult with networking professionals for tailored guidance. If you have any questions, you can feel free to send us your questions through the link down in the description box below, and our team of experts will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much for watching us. I'll see you next time.